it's the beginning of another day. Time for another BTS vlog. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the evening. I got up about a half hour ago. Got myself ready. Yeah. So this is the vlog for uh, Tuesday, October eighth. Gonna date these things because uh, this is part of uh, my log, my uh, research log. So. Yeah, I'm ruling a lot of my research stuff in here. Now that we're doing the new format, I can actually fit more stuff in here about my research stuff that's going on in terms of uh, that would sort of have to go in another list or something like that. No, the new format is actually format is actually working well. I'm happy with it, uh, and so we're going to continue on like this and see if we can sort of fix it up and make it a little bit better in terms of uh, the type of content I put in here. Uh, I might put some music in the background. I'm not too sure yet. We'll sort of see as we go along, as we go along, uh, what I'm going to do with this in terms of how I'm going to fix it up. Uh, I might even put a uh, beginning opening theme to it. We'll see. We'll see what, <laughs> what happens. Uh, anyways, on deck for today, uh, I've got to finish do. I got to do some more work on uh, Cyborg Alpha. I got to do the. Um, the various different connections and, and assign the roles to the various different uh, devices. Uh, I then have to continually, uh, uh, well, not only, test various different ways I can link this up to the research desk and everywhere else uh, and all the other stations around here. I have to do work on the um, electronics bench for the ele electronic engineering, which will be the base for the quantum physics lab. Uh, and then uh, I have a variety of other things that need to get done, so but we'll see throughout the day what gets done, how it gets done. <laughs> and then I don't, I don't, really, I, I haven't forgotten. I've got to do the work on IPTV, the the Cyborg Alpha TV. I've got to do filming for that. So all these things have to work into the schedule. Now we're back on a sort of what I call a regular schedule. We're not in the upgrade mode, upgrade mode anymore. We're now back in full. The research test is operating at a full speed. Um, the Cyborg Alpha is operating at somewhat of a full speed. So now it's a matter of you know. Just doing some of the tidying up and uh, getting the work done. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. I will see you in a bit. Uh, I'm going out to my parents' house for dinner. And uh, I'll talk to you when I get back. Alright, take it easy. Well, it's uh, approaching uh, just about 2 o'clock in the morning now. Uh, it's been a fairly long day. It's the well, it's, it's I've gotten back into... Uh, uh, watching more documentaries again, finding some new uh, sources uh, that I have to go check up on again. Uh, it, this is kind of how the day goes, is that, is that you spend a large chunk of your time checking out materials that are going to go into the library and seeing how they fit in with a variety of different things, uh, depending on what you're studying, what you're working on, and what you're looking for. So, there is a uh, a fair amount of uh, perusing to do, if you will, uh, before you, well, not necessarily finish your day, but <laughs> what happens is you don't really end up finishing. You get to a point where you feel like you can stop and then uh, you just start pick up the next day from there on out. And then once a week you kind of uh, take a day or so to organize uh, what you've done. And then you're back at it again. Uh, the other section the other uh, challenge for the day for the weeks is uh, to fit in all the other work that needs to get done like the the, the filming for the uh, for uh, different episodes the filming for uh, the vlogs uh, the the work on cyborg Alpha TV and the IPTV projects uh, all that work has to be done then you have the upgrades for the computers that that has to be worked in eventually uh, work on the uh, electronics uh, bench has to be done. Uh, in other words, there, there is, in addition to the lengthy uh, library work, there is the other work that surrounds the uh, the place that you're in, and other work that has to be done for the uh, for the research that you're doing. That that also demands time. So it really is a matter of. Uh, Scheduling, not only, you can't, I was, you would argue and say, oh, this is a, that's where you would need scheduling, but the problem is, it's almost impossible to schedule in what you need to do. It has to be done on the fly, in many cases, and you're trying to fit in 
as much as you can do in a particular period of time. The more efficient you are, the more you can do in a given period of time. And that means you can get more work done during the day and that's how you get everything in. But it's always a challenge. It's always a challenge to see how do I fit this in? How do I make this more efficient? How do I get, you know, uh, a large chunk of what you need to get done, done? And this is where uh, one of the parts that are just now are got work. Oh, sorry. One of the parts I've worked on for uh, Cyborg Alpha. Uh, I just fixed this. Uh, this is the uh, th third uh, Android device. And uh, I have the two here, this one here. Uh, this one is uh, right now for my notes. Uh, when I take it, I, I do all my uh, writing work, the write-up work for the uh, for whatever for whatever I'm going to film during the day into here and into here. Take it over to the, the point where I need to film. This becomes my notebook. I open that up and I do my filling from here. Uh, and so that's kind of how I sort of uh, I'm working in the connection between uh, the research desk, the network, and the and and, the, and Cyborg Alpha. And I'm, I've termed the Cyborg Alpha that's uh, the three uh, Android devices now a Cyborg Alpha Mu, and Mu is the Greek letter for M, and that stands for mobile. So the Cyborg Alpha is the mobile part here, and I have a stationary part right here. So uh, things are going well. Bit by bit, we're moving forward. Uh, I think I'm finding uh, amazing new stuff. Uh, this will be added to the documentaries. Uh, I will be coming back with new show. Uh, uh, in other words, <clears throat> let me explain this math better. More uploads are coming this week than the week before. And this is what you're going to see uh, week after week that there will be an increasing flow of materials being uploaded and a variety of different choices of what you want to watch, what you want to see uh, uh, as uh, Cyborg Alpha TV develops and so does uh, Physics TV. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, there's a lot more work to get done and I'll talk to you in a little bit uh, probably when the day ends. Oh, if you saw that tumble there that was the camera falling off its perch. <laughs> Where it's perched. Uh, yeah, it's been another very long day. It's about uh, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to knock off in about a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to have some cereal, watch some cartoons. Uh, it's been a, a surprising uh, uh, oh, Monday, Tuesday, anyways. Uh, the amount of work that I'm getting done uh, compared to last year is actually more significant. I'm doing a lot more work than I did last year uh, in terms of pushing things forward. Now, if this, is a, if this becomes a standard pattern that I can keep up, uh, then this will be a, a good thing and um, I'll be able to produce a lot more work uh, this year than I did last year. And that's kind of where the goal is, is to, on a year-to-year -year basis, can you produce more than you did last year? Can you end up further ahead than you did the year before? And that's actually what's, what's appearing to be the case here, is that uh, I just now finished uh, collecting uh, a whole new series of documentaries. Uh, I found some new books online. I found some new resources uh, that uh, I've gone through that uh, I did previously didn't know about. And there's a lot of information out there that, that, that can indeed be put together uh, that will answer many questions that uh, researchers have been long asking for. And the thing is, sometimes if you can't prove something wrong directly, is there an indirect manner in which you can put together a whole series of, of information uh, that points towards the, what's actually going on in a particular incident? Uh, whether as to whether it's being true or being false, or uh, what parts are wrong, what parts are right. Uh, in other words, you're trying to assess the situation, not simply by what, what somebody says or what somebody else's opinion is, but by uh, assessing multiple op observations, assessing, uh, 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 assessing multiple ob observations. Uh, this is what happens when you get tired, your, your, your mind kind of blanks and mix up words. Uh, 
So you would have to assess sometimes what somebody says in a documentary or in a book or in an article or whatever. You can't simply read it. You have to assess it. You have to analyze it. And sometimes you cannot analyze it directly. There is no direct way to analyze it, direct way to know if what they're saying is true or false. So what you have to do is you have to go through an indirect means, finding a variety of other sources that talk about the same thing or a similar, the, the, the same event. And from these other sources, then piece together as these sources are also multiple different views of these sources if they are that case, and if you can't, can't find multiple sources, then you need to start looking to see if you can broaden your sources to find multiple views or opinions of this particular event. And that way, once you have these multiple sources, you can begin putting together an idea of what people saw and how they perceived what they saw. And that's really the key here is, is that w when you're watching somebody's documentary or you're watching somebody's work, in many cases you're watching a perception of an observation, not necessarily uh, the observation itself. Uh, but in, this is really where it comes in in terms of YouTube, where YouTube makes things very difficult. YouTube is great for sources, but because of the copyright laws, the way the copyright laws are written, it is often very difficult to bring the source that you found your information in uh, to your documentary because it violates the copyright. It violates the copyright law. So you have to go to other sources, other means to demonstrate what you saw in the documentary or in the source. Uh, without necessarily naming the source itself. In other cases, this is too dangerous to bring a source uh, into the public eye or into the documentary because uh, if someone finds out that source and that source was intended to be hidden, then you can end up destroying that source. And if it's a human being, well, yeah, they'll destroy the human being as well. And so that means you need to find, once you find your, found your answer, you need to find a separate way, another way, without naming the source, on how to demonstrate and prove your particular point, your particular observation, and your particular uh, understanding of, of, of a situation. And this is sort of what's going on here. And this is why these things, in many ways, take a lot of time. And if, if, if for many people who don't like this type of uh, uh, investigative work, who don't like putting together puzzles that where the puzzles, the, pe the, pu the, the pieces of the puzzle are scattered literally all over the world, this is kind of a tedious thing, but if you're a geek like I am, this is what you're living for. This is literally finding pieces all over the world, putting together new understandings, putting together new things that you've never seen before, and really trying to pull uh, uh, the puzzle of the universe together. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this is the end of my day. I will see you tomorrow for the next BTS. Uh, have a good one. Alright, bye-bye.